This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are okay. I was going to start this video approaching Tilbury Docks. <laughs> um, but as you can see, we're stuck in traffic. Uh, we're at Dartford and we've been stationary. We haven't long started work, actually. We only parked up around the corner. Um, so we've only been driving for 10 minutes and we've been sat stationary now for five minutes. So I am going to turn my engine off because we've not budged. Literally been here now for five minutes, not moved an inch. So something's happened, something's happened. Anyway, hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Um, we have got to go get loaded from Tilbury Docks. Well, it says 18 minutes. <laughs> it says 18 minutes delay, so we could be here for a while. Yeah, we've got to go get loaded with uh, Pavestone, and it's going to someplace in Wales. I can't remember what it was called. I'm going to butcher it if I were to pronounce it. Uh, Landrindrod Wells. Landrindrod Wells is where it's going. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say it's going to Who Graves over there as well. So uh, the aim is to try and get it off today, but yeah this isn't helping um we were originally going to be at tilbury for just after seven o'clock current eta is 20 to 8 and we're not even moving so yes uh what can you do <laughs> apart from get up earlier but i didn't didn't know it was going to be like this did i anyway never mind um we're just going to sit in this traffic for a little bit but while i'm sat in this traffic can you do me a favor please hit that subscribe button i believe it's somewhere down here uh doesn't cost you a single penny to hit that subscribe button doesn't cost you anything to subscribe itself but it helps me out i'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers once i get that uh figure i get like a youtube plaque to like congratulate me on the subscribers it's not really me it's congratulating you lot for subscribing to me but if you can do that and hit that subscribe button it would mean a lot it doesn't cost you anything helps me out a lot and trying to get my subscriber base up because 40 46 percent or something of you who watch my content don't subscribe and it uh it really would help me out so brilliant thank you cheers for that i'm just gonna stay sat in this traffic for a little bit longer i think by the looks of it oh Right, we are still in the traffic, and there's an awful lot of vehicles going through a red X. Again, I hope every single one of you get a ticket. There's no reason to be driving through a red X. There's been plenty of warning to get over into lanes two and one from lanes four and three. I heard people, some, some are cutting in last minute. Lorry drivers should know better. Ah, oh, he's Belgium. That would explain things. That's not me being racist. The uh, foreign drivers don't care <laughs> about breaking them limits. Uh, the time now is 8 o'clock. There was a point back there where the sat said we'd be there at 20 to 8, including the traffic. We've been sat stationary for so long. It's taken an awful long time to get through this. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to assume they've closed one tunnel by the looks of it. But now, any vehicle that passes us now on this side has gone through the red X. Mad. Okay, so, yeah, the road is fully closed off, look. So I, I'm, I reckon they've closed the tunnel, obviously, or something's happened. There's still cars behind me in lane three and four. Ridiculous. Right. I can I can understand driving in a lane where where the arrow is pointing to go left. I can understand driving in the lane up to that point, uh, or whilst it's showing an arrow to prepare to move over. But once there's a red X, there's, there's no excuse to be in that lane at all. That road is closed. At some point, we do need to get over to the left as well. We need to get into lane one because uh, it becomes a weight limit in this lane. So yeah, we've had to get over into lane one. It's all cleared up now, look. It was just uh, it was just that where it goes four lanes into two. That was the issue. I wonder, because obviously this bridge is slightly lower, it's 4.8, whereas that bridge is five on the right-hand side. So there's a two. If you're above 4.8 meters, basically, you can't go in this lane uh, under this bridge. So that sucks for anyone who is running at maximum height. That does suck. 
Anyway, we are out of the traffic. We've been in that traffic for bloody ages, mate. <laughs> oh, wow, it's too long. There is now a chance that later on today we can't actually get this delivery back off. Because uh, obviously we are going to have to have a break at some point as well. Um, from Tilbury Docks, it's a good sort of five and a half hour drive. So, uh, yeah. At some point on the way, we need to have an entire 45 minute break. So we need to take that into consideration. Plus we need to get loaded. I reckon we're, <laughs> we're gonna be turning up not long before four o'clock. And obviously most cut off, place, cut off points at places are four o'clock. So if there's any more traffic, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get held up, I think, and not get it delivered. But hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully we can get there and get it off come four o'clock and then, uh, yeah, have a nice evening drive in the Welsh countryside to go back somewhere else. Anyway, we're out of the, uh, the traffic now, so I'm gonna go. Next time you see me, we will be in Tilbury Dogs and uh, we will be getting loaded, so I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we've just got our paperwork. We've got to go to 46A to get paperwork and then uh, drive over to birth 44 afterwards, so. Here the truck is, here she is, look. She's looking clean today. Need to go over the wheels a bit. Got a bit of brake dust on that wheel, but um, yeah, the rest of it's looking shiny. All right, let's crack on to birth 44. Like I said, we're actually, we are against it today, so. The quicker we get loaded, the better. Shoes off. Oh, so they spoke to the boss. And uh, from where we are going to deliver today, once we are done, it's straight back to the yard. So it is in my interest to get it off so we can go back to the yard from there. Although it will be a bit of a trek. I can't see us finishing until at least seven o'clock tonight. Uh, yeah, if not more. Busy one today, lots of driving to do. Well, I see you at birth 44. Right, we are in and uh, we are starting to be loaded. Yes. We're not going to Who's Grades. I don't know if I said, I said it earlier, I think we're going to Who's Grades. We're not, we're actually going to a different company, but it is only literally opposite side of the road. So, uh, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called now. Ah, Boys and Bowden. So, Lalandridge Rod Wells, Boys and Bowden. If you're from the area, uh, I'm going to be there later on today, this afternoon. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Bike still getting loaded, strapping up as we're going. Um, don't forget, Devon Truck Show is coming up. A uh, little bit of a reminder. Uh, by the time this video goes out, it should be the weekend before. So uh, next weekend is Devon Truck Show. It's, uh, 17th and 18th of May are the dates. And if you want to go, go online, book your tickets, use the code DTSKTHGV. DTSKTHGV. You get 20% off your tickets site wide. Anything. If you're camping, if you're going for the day, going for the weekend, 20% off your tickets. My mum and dad are going, they're camping for the weekend. They got 20% off their tickets using that code as well. So uh, yeah, we'll see you there. There's lots of stuff happening. Uh, obviously monster trucks, there's a lot of live music. I know Scott Mills is going, Ultra Beat's gonna be there. It's gonna be a fun weekend. We're taking the wife and kids with me as well. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So 20% off if you want to go Devon Truck Show, code is DTSKTHGV, 20% off. Right, we're now fully loaded, fully strapped up. Just doing one final check around the truck, make sure it's all okay. I'm happy with it. So let's jump in the truck and crack on. Right, so like I said, we are loaded. We just got to get out of here now. It looks a bit tight. I'm going to have to just go back and get a slightly wider angle. I think we can make it. Oh, mate. Yeah, just about. Yep. We are clear. We are clear. Right. Now we're leaving here. It gives me a chance to talk about 
<laughs> what happened last night. So I released another mid-week release video uh, today, actually, Thursday, as I'm recording this one. I wasn't going to. I was going to leave it until next week. But for what I'm about to tell you, uh, it would make sense if you've seen what I'd done beforehand so you can sort of put it to, to put, put it together, basically, in sequential order. So, in my last video, they wasn't going to tip me, and then they did tip me, didn't they? Um, uh, yeah, they got, they got me tipped, and then I parked up on that road because I thought, you know what, it'd be nice and quiet here. <laughs> it'd be good. But as you can tell by the video of this title, uh, I don't know what I've named it exactly yet, but it's going to be something along the lines of, you know, motorbikes uh, revving their engines past me while I'm trying to sleep or something. <laughs> so... Why would you come down the left side of me? Um, so yeah, I parked up last night. Quite early, it was like uh, half four, quarter to five, something like that. Uh, Early-ish. And then around about six-ish till seven-ish, I had these motorbikes just steaming past me, revving their engines, doing wheelies, driving on the path that I was parked right next to. Um, <laughs> and at the time, I was quite quite annoyed to be honest. I was I was like, bloody cyclists, motorcyclists. Um, I thought just causing a nuisance, disturbing my sleep, blah blah blah. But I woke up this morning. Obviously, I'm fine now because I moved. But I was like, do you know what? Yeah, it's not it was not very considerate, is it? When there's drivers parked up for the night, my curtains were closed, and they're revving their engines as they go past, uh, doing wheelies. Just, yeah, just being very loud and noisy. But then, on the other hand, I'm like, are they hurting anyone? It's a quite, it's quite a quiet road. Should they be doing it? Probably not, but better than doing it on a main road, I suppose. So yeah, I just, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna move. I had, I had enough time. I'd actually been parked up for like three and a half hours or something, according to my taco, which technically is a split rest. All right, mate? Someone recognised me. So we, um, yeah, so because I had a, a three hour or more uninterrupted rest, that means I could move and then park up again somewhere else. It's been ages since I've done it. Anyway, I had nine hours off, plus the three hours I had off uh, prior, so, so I had, you know, 11 hours off in total. 12 hours off, actually, in total. Losing my mind. Anyway, I moved. I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stay here. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna park somewhere where I know it's quiet. <laughs> and I did, I drove 20 minutes down the road, um, parked up around about sort of more like quarter eight ish or like that and then i didn't start this morning until seven so actually i had like 11 hours off anyway so yeah bloody motorcyclists and that's why i've released it early so then i can talk about it in this video and then you'll be like so now you know what i mean where i was where i was parked up what i was doing but um yeah what do you think do you reckon they were all right do you reckon it was fine do you reckon it was against the law do you know what i mean i don't think you can get any of their number plates because uh, most of the footage is <laughs> when they're driving towards me with, and obviously there's no number plates on the front. But the good thing about my dash cam is that even when there's no power to it, there's battery in it, and if it detects motion, um, it starts recording. So it's essentially 24 hour CCTV in a way, because it will record whenever there's a slightest bit of motion, which is good. Anyway, we're now queuing to get out of here. I'm gonna crack on. We've got a long drive ahead of us. So we need to stop for a break at some point. So, um, cause we're not gonna get there in one hit. I need to give him some paperwork, don't I? Hello, mate. Are you the famous one? <laughs> Apparently, yeah. <laughs> Very good, I know. 
Thank you. You too. Bye bye. Bye. He's got no idea who I am. He's just read, <laughs> read the thing on the front of the truck. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I'm going to crack on. It's about five and a half hours driving. That's not including traffic to get there. Plus we need to stop for fuel. Plus we need to get a break in as well. So uh, yeah. Current ETA is 20 to 3. It's not going to be 23. By the time I stop for a break, get fuel, it's going to be nearly 4 o'clock. We are against it. So I'm going to crack on and I shall see you shortly. See you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, we are now getting fuel. We are uh, pulled into two different fuel stations. Couldn't get any. Now we're at um, uh, North Hamilton Services now. And uh, it's a very slow car. Go in. A bit filled up. I don't know if you can see 385 we managed to put in. Nice. Right, let's go pay for it. Okay, fuel paid for. Let's get back to the truck. Crack on to Wales. Got a long way to go. We still need to stop for a break as well, so I'll probably see when we uh, when we stop for a break. See you in a bit. You've joined me somewhere not far past Shrewsbury, and we're now having a break. Yeah, we've just sort of parked in this lay-by here. Uh, we're on the A458, uh, just past Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury's are here, look, as you can see. If I zoom in a little bit. We're just sort of parked here for now on the A458. We're gonna carry on going down here until we get to this road, and then we're gonna follow this road all the way in. All the way in, well, until we get to here. And then I think I've taken this road before. Uh, it's spectacular views, if I remember rightly. Really nice, windy country roads um, until we get all the way down. All the way down. <laughs> still going, still going, still going until we get to there. And then I think on the way out, we're going to come back out this way and then sort of, yeah, we'll see, we'll see when we get there. But I'm pretty sure we're going to come back out this way and make our way sort of over here, I think. I think, I think, but we're still an hour and 16 minutes away. Like I said, we've got to have a break. Um, we, hopefully we'll be there before quarter to four. Hopefully. I have phoned them up. Luckily, luckily this place don't close until half past five, which is giving me a little bit of extra wiggle room. I have phoned them up and I've said I'm going to be there. Um, I said half three, so they said, yeah, okay, we'll make some room for you. So hopefully we're not going to have an issue and we're going to get it off. Fingers crossed. And then from there, we've got to go straight back to the yard. Tomorrow we're on recycling run. I can't film. So, um, yeah, that'll be it for today's video once we get back to the yard. The question is, though, even if we do get this tipped today, which I'm, I'm pretty sure we will, will we have enough time to get back to the yard? Because it's a good three-hour drive. And I think I'm only going to have about three hours of drive time left. That's on a 10-hour drive. I mean, we've already done today so far. Let's just load it up. We're already, we're already on five hours and 12 minutes of driving. We're still an hour and 15 minutes away, so that's gonna be six and a half hours driving. Seven and a half, eight, nine and a half, ten. So we've got three and a half hours left, and it's about three hours. So we're gonna be, depending on traffic, we might not make it. We might make it, we might not. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, anyway, let's have our break. Soon we're all up. Uh, time to relax a little bit. Okay, 45 minute break has been achieved. So we're gonna crack on now and make our way to Wales. Like I said, we're about an hour and 15 minutes away. So I'm gonna crack on and get there as quickly as I can before they shut. <laughs> See you in a bit.
we are just around the corner from where we need to be. Just got to go right on this roundabout. We're, uh, we're just under a mile away. Those, uh, those wiggly roads we've just been on were pretty cool. Felt like, <laughs> felt like an eternity though that we were on that. But uh, we've made it. We've made it and we are through. We've also made up a little bit of time because it is just before half past three in the afternoon. So I'm quite confident that they will offload us today. It's the time I said I was going to be arriving. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be okay. It's very warm out there. It's 22 degrees Celsius. Very warm. Okay, straight over this roundabout, clear to the right. 500 yards. I don't know how busy this road is, but we're going to have to park up on it. Go up here. Oh, there's a lot of school children. Hazards are on. Yeah, so there's who greys there. I thought I was delivering to who greys. But uh, I'm delivering to these here. Boys Bowden. Just here on the left, look. So, hazards are on. We're going to park up here let them know we're here. HGV drivers, please obtain authorization from Banksman. Yeah, I thought that'd be the case. I thought that would be the case. Let's go let them know we're here. Like I said, I, I was hoping this road wasn't going to be very busy, but uh, looks like it is. There's a few vehicles passing. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna go find someone, see you in a bit. Would you believe I'm in the wrong place? They got two yards. They want me in the bottom yard, which is annoying. We well, now gotta try and turn around as well. Now the question is, can I just drive straight in again? What's this here? Oh, it's a recycling centre. I'm going to have to go speak to them now and tell them I'm here again. Right, see you again in a bit. Right, we're in. We're fully unstrapped. Everything's off, ready to go. Oh, that's warm. Very warm. Right, I do have a task to do, as you can see. Shiny. Somewhat shiny. Not shiny. All the brake in. You get brake dust on it, so... We're going to clean them up. Said all the straps are off, ready to go. So uh, get uh, get the wheels uh, looking a little bit tidier. That'd be nice. The other issue we have on the way out, there's a lot of people queuing up for the recycling centre. Um, they're still there on the way out. It might be might be difficult to get in. I oh, sorry to get out. But we'll cross that bridge later. So I tend to use um, window cleaner, believe it or not, on the uh, on the shiny bits. I I find. It uh, does the job quite nicely. There we go. A quick, uh, quick wipe over. Thirty seconds gets rid of the brake dust, makes it a lot shinier. And talking of, talking of shiny. So is my forehead. <laughs> Sweating. Right, so we've got the next destination put into the sun nav. The next destination being the yard. Two hours and 50 minutes, um, which bodes well. Two hours, 50 minutes, and remaining drive time is three hours, 13 minutes. That means we have a 33 minute leeway. If we get held up in more than 33 minutes worth of traffic, we will run out of time. That's on a 10 hour drive. Um, we should be right, we should be right, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> right, that's the last one coming off on this side. I think we've got one more left on the other side. I just got in a thumbs up, so that is definitely it. 
Oh, we can't actually get out yet because where the um, where we want to spin round, there's a a pickup truck there waiting to be loaded. Is he going to get the hint? I think he is. Oh, that one's moving as well. I've got a lorry on the left-hand side of me moving. Where's he going? Is he going out? If he's going out, that gives me more room. Lovely jubbly. Got no one watching me, so I just need to be a little bit careful. Only take up the space I need, like that. Lovely. Let's get out of here. That's basically two horns. There was just the one. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Let's put our seatbelt on before we get fully onto the main road. Brilliant. Right, so, yeah, we should have enough time to get back uh, to the yard. It's, like I said, it's just under a three-hour drive. Because um, where we reset our brake up earlier, where our brake was, we've, we're on one hour, 15 minutes now, I think. One hour 20 we're on and it's 2.48 is what it's saying now currently so uh yeah we should get there before four and a half hour um drive at the same time as a 10 hour drive but we are going to be up against it on both clocks we've got 30 minutes leeway on the 10 hour drive and less leeway i think on the four and a half hour just trying to work it out 120 which would leave me 10 310 and i'm 250 so there's 20 minutes leeway on the four and a half if you don't get it it's just something we've got to think about in our head so we've got 20 minutes leeway on the four and a half before we need a break 20 minutes leeway and we've got 30 minutes leeway on total driving time so there could be a scenario where like we run out of driving time for the four and a half have to have a 45 minute break just to carry on an extra five minutes <laughs> That is a scenario that could happen. Unlikely, but we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll see. But um, yeah, ETA is just after seven o'clock at the moment. But obviously, we, we are going to have to contend with rush hour traffic at some point as well. So we'll see. We'll see what time we get back to the yard. What I'll probably do is um, I'll probably see you guys when we're in the yard, I suspect. Or if I know I'm going to be parking up early, then, uh, then I'll see you then. But uh, fingers crossed, we can make it back to the yard. That is the aim. Tomorrow, I've got an easy day tomorrow. All I've got to do is get loaded from BMW in Swindon, take a recycling load up to Kingsbury, come back and load up ready for Monday. So that's all I need to do to, uh, tomorrow. Nice, easy, easy run. But now I've said that, summer's going to happen, isn't it? Always the case. Right, I'm going to go. Wish me luck. Hopefully we can make it back. See you in a bit. Close her up. Okay, there's uh, the wheels are looking in. quite nice as well. Not too bad. They're not quite as shiny as uh, as clear as mine. I don't know. I've got this um, this white thing on the front, which I don't think helps. And he's got. Oh, the shiny wheel nut covers, but I don't. <laughs> I might have to buy some nut covers for myself at the show. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I used to pull that trailer for JK. Years. Anyway, that's it. We're uh, going to crack on home for the evening. It's ten past seven now, so uh, we'll come back in the morning, do a manual entry to say we're in until quarter past seven, something like that. Time we get to the car and leave. 
and uh, jobs are good. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button, more importantly. Uh, 65, I think now, percent of you don't subscribe. So if you can, so not 65, 45. So if you can hit that subscribe button, it would help me out very much so. So yeah, I'm off. Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.